I'm Heidi and welcome to my channel and welcome to my home. If it's your first time here, I'm so glad that you're joining me and if you're returning, I'm so happy that you're back for more. Today we're going to do a short core series on your motor that could be utilized as a standalone ab series or it would be a really great warm up or beginning to a longer program. It's up to you. So let's get this started. Okay, to get this out of the way, I wanna let you know that we are going to be rolling back on the spine and along our sits bones. So if you have a tender tushy or a tender spine, I would place a mini mat down or a folded towel or blanket, whatever kind of suits your fancy. And then you're gonna go ahead and sit down facing your motor arm. And I want you to go ahead and push one button in on each avocado. So we have a resistance of six pounds. Now for this series, you have options. To make the series a little easier, you can always slide your feet underneath the motor arm. But for today, I'd like you to try to join me with the feet on top of the motor arm. So you're gonna notice right off the bat, it's gonna require a lot more balance, yeah? So we're here. I'm gonna just place my hands inside the straps, taking the arms straight out in front of me. We're gonna roll it back. Taking the exhale, we're gonna curl that pelvis under, rolling down, and I want you to see if you can go as far as the tips of your shoulder blades, noticing the feedback that the motor gives to the spine. Take a breath in here, and then as you exhale, we're gonna dive it back forward, folding at the rib cage, finding that C curve, and then restack the spine at the top. We have a couple more just like that. Again, we take our exhale, drawing the pelvis towards the rib cage and really articulating the bones down just to the tips of the shoulder blades. And then as we exhale again, we fold it back up, peeling the spine off the motor, just like a sticker, restacking, and we have one more there. Taking the exhale, we curl it back. We are gonna hold this time at the bottom, hold it here, and we're gonna do small pulses here, just for five, exhale for four, final three, last two, final one, hold it. We're gonna restack the spine, sitting tall and pausing there. Now, take a moment, you're gonna reach through the straps, and just hold underneath the D-rings here, okay? And then double check that we're not over engaging the upper girdle. So we're gonna wrap the shoulders down and around. And we're gonna roll it back again to the tips of the shoulder blades, taking that exhale to curl it back. Once you find that sweet spot there, I want you to hold. And then from this position, right, option to slide the non-working foot under the motor arm if you need to. But we're gonna take the right leg up to tabletop. We're gonna hold, find that balance. We're gonna tap the toe, bring it up, tap it up, down, and bring it up. We have three more just like that. Final two, one more like that. Take it back down. We're gonna change legs, bring it up, tap it down. Bring it up, tap it down. We have three more. Last two, final one. Bring it down. We're gonna fold, finding that scoop in the center body. Restack the spine and relax. Okay, adding on. You can stay with that variation or you're gonna progress and follow me, yes? We're gonna roll it down again. Taking that exhale, finding that articulation, finding that deep abdominal scoop, we're gonna hold. Now from here, we're gonna bring one leg up at a time and find your tabletop position. Holy guacamole. It's a balancing act. Hold, wrapping those armpits down and around. We're gonna take the right toe, tap, bring it up. Again, bring it up. Nice, three more. Almost feel like the straps are pooling your chest up towards your thighs. Last one here. Hold it, other side. We tap, bring it up. 
tap it down. We bring it up. Last three. Whew. Final two. Last one. Hold it. Bring the feet down. You can either bring them on the arm or underneath. And we're going to roll it up. Finding that posture. Sitting tall. Nice. Now. Okay, hold that. Did you know that you could actually be doing a motor workout live stream with me every week? Well, you can. Shoot me an email to book your spot and I'll see you soon. Enjoy the rest of your workout. What if we add a little oblique and some movement in the upper girdle with the movement of the lower half of the body? Yes, while on this tiny surface. Go for it, let's see what happens. You're not that far from the ground, so if you fall, you're not going very far, <laughs> yeah? So we're here. We're gonna roll it down again, exhale. Let's ease into it. <sighs> Holding it here. Now, from this position, we're in that fold, you're gonna draw your right knee to tabletop. As you draw it up, can you rotate the torso towards the knee? Then center yourself back. Again, you rotate, you bring it back, just one more like that. Rotate, bring it back, go right into the other side for three. You rotate, bring it back. Last two, bring it back. One more, bring it back, beautiful. We're gonna roll it back up, restack that spine. So this is a good test of that pelvic stability, right? Now, Maybe that was good enough for you. You can stay with that variation. Otherwise, you're gonna follow me. Join me for this next one. We're gonna roll it back. Last sequence in this position, holding it here. You're gonna bring one leg up to tabletop, hold it. We're gonna balance, bring the other leg up to meet it. Whoo, maybe this is enough for you. You can stay here. Otherwise, you're gonna tap the right toe and you're gonna rotate towards the left thigh. It's very small. And then from there, we're gonna switch. Rotate. Exhale through. And exhale through. It's a balancing act here. We have three more sets here. Rotate. Think of looking beyond your thigh. Trying to reach beyond the thigh. Woo! One more time, each side. Last time, there's my cat. Come back to center, hold. We're gonna fold it up, restack, and relax right there. Woo! Okay, very nice. So if you got through that with success, I am proud of you. That is awesome, right? We always have something to work on. If you notice, I was shaking, rocking, and rolling, but if you didn't, that means you were focused on what you were doing, <laughs> yeah? So take a moment. We are gonna pop the buttons out now so we have a resistance of three pounds, yeah? And then from there, again, you have the option to hook your feet underneath the arm or place them on top. It doesn't really matter, yeah? Um, just all of what you want in terms of balance, yeah? So I'm gonna keep my feet here. I'm gonna take the arms straight out in front of me. We're gonna go into a lead, little seated back extension work here. So starting off the same way, we're gonna curl the pelvis under. Find that scoop and just go to the back of your sits bones here, yeah? I'm thinking of driving my pubic bone towards my sternum, and I'm gonna bend my elbows into my rib cage. From this position, I'm gonna send my chest to the sky, lengthen through my pubic bone, through my low back, and then as my elbows come back, I curl and bring it back in. So the movement, we inhale to lengthen the spine. I reach through the tailbone, through the crown of my head, and then exhale to curl it back. So I'm trying not to sit all the way back up on top of my sits bones. I'm just allowing my pelvis to tip forward, staying at the back of those sits bones. Take three more. We lengthen, inhale. Exhale, it's a balancing act. So if you wanna tuck those feet underneath, that'll help you, right? We lift, it's a lot more stable that way. Let's do one more, lifting up, bring it back, hold it, take the arms forward, restack that spine, and pause. Very nice, take a moment there, 
sit however you're comfortable here. Just roll it back and down, just opening up the chest and shoulders. And then take a second here, wrap the arms around, interlock the fingers, and we're just gonna lift the heart, stretch the front of the shoulders, stretching through that low belly and through the upper belly, of course. Good, and relax. There you have it. I'm so happy that you joined me today. If you have any comments or suggestions or questions for me, please don't hesitate to comment below. I'll see you again real soon. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really hope you liked this video. Give it a huge thumbs up and don't forget, subscribe and you'll be notified when the next video drops. And in the meantime, come join me on Instagram. I hope to see you soon.